Each of us has seen beautiful and fast sports cars, luxury sedans and SUVs, and simply expensive cars on the street, but have you ever wondered how much the most expensive cars in the world cost? You are on top 5 video channel, enjoy watching. Aston Martin cut the roof off of its Valkyrie hypercar in the open spider version. Equipped with an identical hybrid drivetrain, the 1,134 horsepower Roadster is produced in a limited edition of 85 pieces at over $3,200,000 a piece. The British dubbed the new Aston Martin Valkyrie V12 Spider as the fastest topless car ever built, and it was keen to stay within the original design of Adrian Newey. It is noted that this is the most powerful model in the history of the brand. The car received air ducts behind the driver and passenger seats, as well as six hexagonal taillights. In addition, the machine is equipped with special active dampers that remove heat from the engine. The supercar is equipped with a power plant consisting of six and a half, a liter naturally aspirated V12 engine and a 34 horsepower electric motor. The total output of the units is 819 horsepower. The car is capable of accelerating to 100 kilometers per hour in two. 9 seconds, and its maximum speed is 350 km per hour. The car was the first to break the 300 miles per hour barrier. A maximum speed of 490 km per hour was recorded. The company decided to celebrate the success with a limited edition of 30 units at 3.5 million euros each. True, on client coupes, the maximum speed was limited to 440 km per hour and it will be possible to remove the electronic collar only at events organized by the manufacturer. The car received a 400mm fan in the stern, which evacuates air from under the bottom and thus creates a ground effect. All the planned 100 copies were sold out within 48 hours after the premiere, despite the huge price two and a half million pounds sterling. On the standard Pagani Huayra Roadster, the 6-liter V12 from Mercedes-AMG developed 764 horsepower. The hardcore Huayra Roadster BC has 802 horsepower. And the Huayra Tricolor already has 840 horsepower. Apparently, this is the same version of the engine that is installed on the Huayra Imola Coupe, released in 5 copies. The dry weight of the car is 1,270 kilograms. This is 10 kilograms less than that of a regular Roadster, but 20 kilograms more than the BC version. Dynamic characteristics are not specified. Inspired by the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, the design concept is taken from the Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo, the main purpose of the car is to perform well on the racetrack. Before the incoming air enters the engine and the wing, it is separated by a Naka duct to improve downforce. In addition, for better aerodynamics and brake cooling, a large front splitter and side skirts are installed. The Senta Diasi has acquired a number of characteristic features a noticeably smaller grille, very narrow slanting headlights, side air intakes with five round holes, a direct reference to the exterior of the EB110SS, and, in general, noticeably sharper and more aggressive body lines. The novelty is much more like an uncompromising track sports car than the donor of the Bugatti Chiron platform. The Rolls-Royce Sweptail is a one-of-a-kind large luxury vehicle produced in the United Kingdom by Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. At the time of its debut in May 2017 at the annual Concorso di Eleganza Villa d'Est, it was the most expensive new car in the world, valued at approximately US$12.8 million. The unique Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta is the most expensive new car ever. In an interview with Top Gear, the head of the brand Horatio Pagani said that the supercar is worth 15 million euros. The interior of Horatio's car is made in beige. The seats, borrowed from the Huayra BC, are trimmed with tartan plaid. The supercar is powered by a 6-liter V12 by turbo engine, the output of which is 800 horsepower, combined with a 6-speed manual transmission. The modern Bugatti La Voiture Noir is based on the production Chiron model, but has a seriously redesigned body, in which the designers, together with the customer, tried to embody the features of Jean Bugatti's car. The front end is completely different, and the stern has been changed, so the unique coupe has gone through a full cycle of development work in a wind tunnel. 
After all, it is understood that La Voiture Noire, like the donor Chiron, must confidently gain over 400 km per hour and at the same time remain manageable. If you like the video, then watch our other videos about cars according to the tips from above. See you soon.